welcome to my classes that is suchi sahakas class thank you all for your responses if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the latest videos okay so let's go to the today's class before moving to today's class as earlier i told you in abag Uh, in abacus every day we should practice is 15 to 20 minutes so that our brain will get exercise we can train our brain so let's start previous class i told you about the parts of the abacus let's revise that first part i told you frame abacus board is got frame next part is horizontal bar next part is horizontal bar next one is upper beads the beads that are upside the horizontal bar that are called upper beads and the beads that are down the horizontal bar that are called lower beads next to it dots you can see some black dots on my abacus that are called dots and the last one is small small lines as you can see in this big abacus these are white lines and in the small abacus very small small black rods are there these are called rods so again i am telling frame horizontal bar upper beads lower beads dots and rods next the point is how to hold the abacus during practice before practicing abacus the main point is that wherever you are sitting your spine should be straight be straight while you are sitting and you should hold this abacus with your left hand in our left hand and in our right hand we have five five fingers left hand thumb index middle finger ring finger and little finger like that right hand also thumb index middle finger ring finger little finger in left hand we have to hold our abacus while holding the abacus keep the keep the abacus on the table the lower bit should be to your front side and upper bit should be outside lower bit should be front side and upper bit should be outside and in your left hand you have to hold the abacus see this is my left hand this is my left hand you have to hold this abacus with your left hand with three fingers that is thumb ring finger little finger thumb ring finger little finger so i am holding it see it once abacus is like this thumb towards you and last two fingers and turn it so now index and middle finger should be up index and middle finger should be up i am showing it again keep the abacus on the table sit straight with your left hand using thumb and last two fingers thumb and last two fingers you should hold it like this so that index and middle finger should be up why we are keeping these two fingers up later i will tell why we are keeping these two fingers up later i will tell so with left hand i have to hold this abacus this abacus should be on the table and in right hand i have to hold the pencil i have to hold the pencil i have with my pen now you have to use pencil always so how to hold the pencil okay first see this is my writing side this is my writing side right hand also open the hand like l posture open the hand like l portion thumb should be out all remaining four fingers should be up keeping the pencil lead side down you hold it like this only make it a punch like okay then you open the thumb and index open the thumb 
and index. With these three fingers, you have to hold your pencil. So, I am telling you again, hands should be open like L shape. Keep your pencil in between. Close all the fingers. Keep the thumb open and also index open. While writing, use it like it. Doing abacus, you should use it like this. You should not keep your pencil down. Always your pencil should be on your hand only. Inside your fingers, your pencil should be there. Doing abacus, these two fingers should be open. Write it. You can use it as you are using in your notebook. So, again, before starting the abacus, sit straight on a chair or down wherever you are sitting. Your spine should be straight. Left hand you have to hold your abacus with three fingers. Thumb, thumb and ring finger and little finger. It is like this only. And right hand like this only. Is it clear? I, I think so. All are clear about this. Left hand abacus, right hand pencil. Next, move Next, I will tell you about the beads value. Okay, so if it is not comfortable to sew with this small abacus, I will sew in this big abacus how to move the beads. With my right hand, I have to start from this middle point. In your abacus, middle one point, white point is there. That white point is your one's place. This is my one's place in my big abacus. And this rod is also called mother rod. Because we are going to start all the sums and subtractions you starting from this point. And this one is our unit point. So, whenever you will move the bits, the bits that are touching to the horizontal bar. Again, I am repeating. The beads that are touching to the horizontal bar that are activates. That are activates. We have to count that beads. And those who are not touching to the horizontal bar that are sleeping beads. That are sleeping beads. We should not count them. Okay. So now let's learn what are the value of the beads. Let's learn what are the value of the beads. So. In my one's place, I am sewing here. It is like this only like two rods. This is, this is my horizontal bar. So, here one point is there. So, this point is one's place. This point is one's place. Okay? So, if any bead is touching to horizontal bar, means this horizontal bar, any bead is touching means we should count that. If one bead is there, we should count it as one. If two beads are touching there, we should count it as one, two. Here, see, two beads are up here. So, we should count it as Two. If three beads are touching, so three beads, we should count it as three. If four beads are touching, <coughs> we should count it as four. So up, up to here, it is clear. Each lower bead value is one. One, two, three, four. So, next, <coughs> now the turn of upper bead. Upper bead means if this upper bead comes down, that value becomes 5. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In abacus, these are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Up to 
here. Please practice this. One, two, three, four, and last one is five. Next class, I'll explain it with more description. So for today, that's all. Thank you all. Thank you.